At any one time, between 25 and 40% of us are trying to lose weight. And to supply that desire for health, or more commonly, the body beautiful, is an enormous industry with products that they all claim work. But do they work? And are they safe? Tonic's Casey Barros has been investigating and spoke to a leading expert in weight loss, diabetes and hormones, Professor Leslie Campbell of the Garvin Institute in Sydney. If you take something, you may actually have a very short period of thinking a drug works because of something called the placebo effect. But unfortunately, any of these products that don't actually have real ingredients that work will eventually fail the obese or the overweight person. Instead of complaining, as most people would when they bought a shoddy product, obese people tend to feel guilty. They assume they've done the wrong thing themselves and failed. And so they go on and buy the next product. One concern is the exploitation of these people and are going to continue to suffer uh, from their obesity and the possibility of side effects um, and interactions with other drugs, all of it is dependent on eating less kilojoules, whether it's carbohydrate restricted or whether it's fat restricted, the end result's the same. And a prolonged period of kilojoule restriction, calorie restriction, will have the desired result and then activity for life. That it's not just going to the gym, it's the fact that people who have weight problems have been shown in many ways to be the ones who'll sit uh, and uh, instead of finding out whether it's raining, they'll send walking outside, they'll actually send the dog out and feel the dog when it comes back and see if the dog's wet. They will go to enormous lengths not to be active. So it's a real challenge for people to lose weight and that's why they turn to weight loss drugs and products. These usually fall into four categories, prescription medications, complementary products, surgery and meal replacements. Let's start with prescription medications. It's a short list. There's just been a withdrawal of the last two drugs have been taken off the market for side effects. The only other drug which works through reducing the fat absorption in the gut is available across the counter. That's Xenical. It causes about a third of the ingested fat to go out again in the bowel. In other words, if you eat too much fat, you get a nasty fatty diarrhea. So what really happens besides losing calories, it's also a bit of a warning that if you eat a high fat diet, you're going to have embarrassment. It is a drug that's been around for a very long time, so has a very long history of safe use, except sometimes you might need a fat soluble vitamin as well. And is it something that you have to stay on forever? Uh, that is an interesting question. Not necessarily. I think the big problem people who are very overweight have is that they can't be active until they've lost a bit of weight. Often what can happen is the drugs, you could use the drug to lose weight, but once you've lost a bit and become permanently, forever, more active, then you may not need to take a drug. How do appetite suppressants work? Very few appetite suppressants of the real nature are left on the market. The one or two that are available are working through the brain, which is where your appetite is. Fenteramine is the only appetite suppressant at the moment on the market, and it does have a truly appetite suppressant effect, but it does have side effects which are somewhat unpleasant with fast pulse and palpitations and uh, sleeplessness. And I think they work probably the way bariatric surgery works. So, Norman, what's the story with bariatric surgery? Well, Casey, there are more than one operation involved in reducing the weight of people who are really obese. And at the moment, to qualify, you've got to be pretty fat and life-threatened. But as time goes by, the bar is being lowered. In many countries, the commonest operation is actually shortening the bowel through a fairly radical operation to reduce its ability to absorb calories and nutrients. In many countries, these operations aren't commonly done because they're irreversible and have a significant risk of side effects and complications. One of the most popular operations in bariatric surgery is gastric banding. It's performed through keyholes in the abdomen and they create a small pouch with the band which slows down the passage of food into the rest of the intestine. 
So you have to eat slowly and you do feel full sooner. And as time goes by, the band can be adjusted to be tighter or looser. Now for banding to work, you've got to be committed. There's no getting away from a calorie portion controlled diet. You can't cheat by liquidizing your hamburgers and chips. But bariatric surgery in a committed person can have dramatic effects with long lasting weight loss and even reverse diabetes. But it's a big step. But some of the other options, Casey, are a bit dubious as well, aren't they? Well, not all, but certainly some. You need good information to decide, and some things do work, like meal replacements. With actually cutting the amount of food eaten, there are replacements, either powders, bars or shakes, and one can, of course, just have the meals delivered completely to your house. Then there are complementary and alternative weight loss products. It's big business and you hear a lot of claims, but what do they actually do? I'd be very interested as to what they're doing. I believe most of them are doing absolutely nothing. Um, I've seen very little scientific evidence of the sort that I and other scientists would accept, uh, that they actually cause weight loss. Um, but I've seen a lot of mumbo jumbo uh, about uh, non-scientific statements and uh, testimonials. So what do they claim to be able to do? Some of them seem to get rid of toxins, which I can't identify. The body does that already. Uh, and why toxins should make you fat, I don't understand. Your liver and your kidney get rid of your toxins, otherwise you'd die. How much do these toxins weigh? <laughs> I can't understand it and there's no scientific evidence to back it. So it's an absurd concept. Others wash your bowel and your kidney and your liver out. Again, horrifying thought. I personally wouldn't like that. Why would you need that? And why would that make your weight any different? Other ones have strange herbal extracts, but they're not well described. And no uh, registered trial evidence to show how they work. HCG, or human chorionic gonadotrophin, is another hormone in the body, uh, one that particularly plays a part uh, in pregnancy. I am personally not aware of any scientific evidence that it is a weight loss agent. However, yet again, a, it is being promoted, used and injected uh, to cause weight loss. How does a pregnancy hormone cause weight loss? Uh, it would be difficult to understand that. I think is part of the tradition of giving hormones to try to produce weight loss. Growth hormone has been misused quite substantially recently for muscle development and weight loss. And prior to that, thyroid hormones were given out very freely uh, for weight loss and were actually or lethal. 